accounts. Uh, let's see. Doing damage, of course. Right, right. What, ab to... what about target priority? On who is, like, active? Right, exactly. Did you have yes. time to practice it? Yeah, yeah. So that, so sorry, that was like the first thing I said. I didn't. I don't think I said target priority, but that's probably how I should say oh, it. I just oh, trying to focus it's fine. on. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Trying to focus on who is using their cooldowns. Who is like the active person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of it. But yes, target priorities is how you described it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can name it. Uh, you can name it the most active as well. Yeah, I'm just going through the list to make sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I think we got it. Got it right. Okay. Um. Well, what do you think your struggle was at the moment? <laughs> so I'm still, so I got to, I mean, I immediately dropped back down, but I did get to silver three <laughs> after our last session. So it helped it. I noticed like a change like pretty quickly. I was like, okay, it's going a bit better. Um, but I still noticed like, like I was playing a game just now before our session. And I think I walked over a junk rat trap like three or four times. <laughs> um, yeah. So like, awareness because i get like laser focus when i'm shooting at someone or like trying to heal someone mm -hmm. and i just like press w mm -hmm. and get trapped like because i'm not paying attention so definitely that the the game sense and like positioning and then i still feel like not feel like i know my aim needs a ton of work but i think you said that was like one of the lower priority things in terms of what i should work on yeah based on what we saw before i think aim is something what we can discuss but probably yeah it's gonna be the last priority i think something we can start with totally is awareness just your okay. decisions for the most part game game yep. sense i think that can be good okay mm. yeah i think we can go over any game if you have one do you have any? i do have one mm -hmm. yeah i can share it with you let me uh send it to you one sec Uh, let's see. Yeah. I pinned one of them. Okay. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Okay. So, uh, first of all, um, something something I wanted to ask as well: Is there anything you do in terms of warm up? How do you, or do you warm up at all just before you get into the game session? So occasionally, not every time. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I usually will at least play like an unranked game mm -hmm. before ranked. Mm -hmm. um, I did download like an aim trainer thing that I do occasionally, um, and then like while like while I'm waiting for the game, I go into the practice range and mm -hmm. do some things there. But I don't have a specific warm up. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think it would be quite good, especially during. Yeah, just doing our practice because we got multiple lessons. I think something to start with is try to <clears throat> try to do a little bit more of this warm up. I'm just gonna show you that real quick. Um, can you see my stream just fine? Uh, yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. So first of all, what you can do is do this kind of is this Vaxta? yeah Vaxta. i think you know that yeah Vaxta one i know is... it from your youtube video oh <laughs> right <laughs> so oh. i do i've done this a couple times from your video that's where i learned about it yeah, yeah yeah okay it's good that you're using that i think that is something you can do every every time just before your game session okay and you can also how long like 10 20 minutes or yeah usually usually it's 10 to 20 minutes 15 minutes on average i think doing sure. this is good and you can also try to do something what's called try hard ffa just gonna show you that real quick so for example here oh. there's a lobby try hard ffa for 
zero four well it seems like they just updated it a little uh -huh. but basically why it's good because you play versus other 11 players and you constantly get in situations under pressure and because you get in the pressure then it helps your awareness it helps your just overall increasing your aim skills you know because okay. you using cover you using the environment and you actively thinking about the cooldowns as well i think this is quite nice because in aim trainers like wax stuff for example just normal aim trainers the thing is is that you're not really getting in the situations under pressure you really don't have it yeah the the robots they are not shooting you in most cases yeah right yeah yep. or like the circles or whatever they do in aim trainers mm, so exactly. yeah just yeah. try to pick the character go in do something take as many duels as you want and because you facing versus other lone players those duels are quite frequent well here some players just loved because the game ended but yeah uh, the lobby is usually full and you can just find a lot of opportunities for you to do damage while using cover while using your abilities as well uh, some of the abilities are disabled like your e for example because it's quite well not in balance but just overall in one-on-one -on -one duel it, it's kind of broken most of the time so uh -huh. yeah they just re removed some of the abilities but the main point of the same train anyway is just kind of getting used to situations under pressure while using cover and shooting okay. at the same time okay. yep so this is something you can do i'm just gonna write it down in our task section as well so yeah try hard ffa or Vaxta. A try hard FFA is more I think you can yeah, it's more preferable because you're gonna be in situations under pressure more. Mm, so yeah, do 15 okay. 20 minutes before each game session. Okay, do you have any questions about this here, the warm up routine or so, um you said that um FFA is preferred. Yeah. Um does it matter like I don't know. Say I'm because you're recommending warming up every time. Mm -hmm. um, does it matter, like if you know, a couple of days I want to do like Vaxta instead? I think. Well, I w I wouldn't do it instead. I would mix it up together. So prioritize try hard FFA probably because we want to work on your awareness more and add a little bit of Vaxta if you like. It's just okay. all right. You can also experiment, see what works the best for you, what's kind of getting you into into the mindset of playing as well. Because the main point of warm up is just so you can stay focused. It's some sort of routine you create as well. Remember, like in any other game, maybe in a football or even tennis, you see those players even do special rituals. Like they, <laughs> I don't know, like in a football, what they do, they uh, hug in a circle, stay in a circle, say something like in a basketball, it's kind of the same. Yeah, because this ritual helps you to stay focused, you know, it's kind of <clears throat> the thing your body remembers, your mind remembers, and it's kind of clicking that you are gonna be, doing stuff in the game and you should be actively mindful about something so it's a it's not only about that obviously but uh, yeah it's one of the you know, why warm-up can be important yeah, it can be like your special routine <laughs> which helps you okay. mm -hmm. sure okay that's helpful <laughs> i can start doing that yeah yeah try to experiment with the amount of time but try to maximize try hard the fafe i think in your case mm -hmm. sounds good okay We'll do that. Okay, so that's about warm up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think let's just go into the replay. Let's see. So, what do you think about that game? Do you feel like you still struggled uh, with the one I sent you? Yeah, yeah, the one you sent me. Uh, it's not <laughs> like great, honestly. I think I actually have a good bit of downtime in this one, if I remember. Uh huh. Uh huh. Accidentally. Accidental downtime. So, what? Yeah. What was the case for downtime? <laughs> um, I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember this exactly because I've played 
a bit today. And this was like one of my first games from today. But uh-huh. I remember after the game being like, oh, that might be a good one for the coaching session later. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I think, it, again, it's about like positioning, um, anticipation, kind of knowing what the team, knowing where they're going to come from is kind of like a, one of my one of my issues. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I don't remember the specifics. I might remember some stuff as we go through it. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, then let's just keep playing for now. <clears throat> we, we start with our team, we do a little bit of shooting on the Rhine Shield, which is just fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I really like that you apply pressure. I was kind of unfortunate to one of your team teammate teammates is AFK. Um, is it a is it a rank game by the way? Or yes, this is. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> All right. Well, th- that happens sometimes. That happens. Mm-hmm. Okay. However, I would still think about. Uh, well, let's yeah. Let's focus on that. How can you apply even more pressure during this fight? Um, is there anything you can do potentially? So I can't see the enemy team that well. Um, mm-hmm. Currently, they're all behind this wall that's literally right in front of me. Um, and my diva just kind of like frontlining. And so when I saw the Rhine shield, I remember thinking like, okay, well, breaking that shield is better than just like doing nothing and like trying to heal diva. Right. So that's why I was shooting at the shield. So maybe if I'm on the right side where I can see more. Um, kind of see here? T- yeah. Possibly. So if you're on the right side, then what? Um, well, then I can... So I have this cover right here, the like pillar that's in the front. Yeah, true. Um, so I can use natural cover. Um, and then I'm also behind my team. <coughs> and mm-hmm. I can see the enemy team. Um, that's... that's <laughs> I don't say that's my guess, but like, that's my guess of like how to how to apply more pressure, or mm-hmm. don't shoot the Rhine. Like once the Rhine drops your shield, look for the support or something like right. that. Right, yeah, right, exactly. But it, we in reality we am not in a position to shoot anything else. I think so. It's better than not, nothing, at least. <laughs> yeah. So okay. it's still it's still good. Yeah. The question is, it's what kind of position allows you to get more information let's put it this way because more yeah more so what you mentioned before as well sometimes you might not be aware of certain things sometimes it's hard to notice something new in the fight so positioning can help with that and it can also help with applying more pressure on the map too so if you look at it this position, well, it can work a little bit better, right? Because you see more on the field. Basically, we see a little bit of this. We see a little bit of this. Maybe somebody's coming this way. This is quite nice, I think. And what is the main idea behind this position? Why it's good? It's that you not playing behind your team exactly. You playing on the side sort of you're playing on this is what i what i like to use a lot uh, the word off angle you're playing away from your core while still being able to support them so if your team is here if you're somewhere near this pillar or if you're somewhere even on this top left here a b c kind of away from them then you can see more on the map while being able to apply more pressure because there's no shield in front of you there's no defensive ability there's just gonna be more opportunities basically so yeah your idea, okay yeah exactly so your idea with the position if you want to be getting more information and yeah like as I mentioned, pressure more, th- try to take off angles as much as possible. I think we're going to look at that a lot. What okay. kind of... So, mm-hmm. uh, to, to that point, I guess, and maybe we'll see, but I I try to sometimes. I think I don't have a good sense of, like, first, 
is this a good idea to try and take an off angle? Like, should I take this one, for example? Like, mm-hmm. not, not like this little angle, but like, just, you know, in a general game. Like, I'm, when I go through it in my mind, like, okay, should I take this angle? And then sometimes, like, I don't know. I feel like I die really quickly. Like, mm-hmm. after my diva gets, I think it's diva that dies here. Um, I get killed, like, immediately after. Yeah, and exactly. I... It, it, it's so... just because... Yeah, sorry. So what the, what's the question? Well, I guess it's more all, just something I feel like I need to work on is like recognizing the off angle and like mm-hmm. recognizing, okay, this is a good opportunity, things like that. So it's not a specific question, it's more an area mm-hmm. of focus for me, I think. Yeah, well, in terms of when you should take it, for now, I would just do it every time. Of course, sometimes okay. there are going to be exceptions, but especially the rank where we're at and yep. just as a general mentality, because it's better to be proactive and try to experiment, do things, just think how you can carry the fight rather than allow that, allow your team to kind of carry you. Basically, yeah, here, if we had a position, then we only have sidelines on the Rhine. That is not not as much pressure, right? And we also cannot see as much information as well. But if we're somewhere on the side, we we'll always have more carry potential. Yes, that might be riskier. Sometimes, yeah, you, it's gonna be more complicated for you to find the right time to apply pressure but mostly the timing is right when your tank is in when your tank is active and like i mentioned when your tank is not in the fight anymore then you're gonna die instantly but if you want to yeah. find out yeah you want to find out how to apply more pressure uh compared to the enemy team so yes they do shoot somebody yes they try to do things but if you do more than them it should be okay obviously in this fight it's kind of uh, it's 5v4 so it's <laughs> it's more difficult but still yeah we want to find out how to apply pressure even more mm-hmm. so try and okay. take off angle as much as possible and later we... so essentially you're saying like if this were you you would immediately just go yeah to the right for sure, for sure. L- 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 i would say left probably a little bit better um i, w- I can explain as well because okay. that is something we yeah okay maybe let's just think about what kind of position allows you to pressure the back line in um in easier way yeah let's let's think about that like think about the map structure as well, where the enemies are coming from as well, right? <laughs> so, what do you think? Yeah, so definitely, like if I try to go from where I suggested, like to the right from where I currently am, then uh, the Rhine's in front. There's natural yeah. cover as well. Yeah, um, exactly. And they're like, I can't see them that well. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. you know, like you said, I would <clears> go to the left. Actually, you can uh, a you, the Rhine's not looking. Um, you have that like cover right there, and then also mm-hmm. like their whole backlines right there. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, you notice on a King of the Hill map, there is sort of a pattern. You usually want to fight for some sort of high ground position as well. You uh, because you're fighting for those positions, it gives you more options what to do a lot of times. And because you have the high ground, it usually exposes the back line more you're gonna have better better side lines on the back line a lot of times so yeah go on a but it's it's just purely thinking okay where this guy's gonna come from yeah this is a high ground i'm mostly gonna have better vision i'm an off angle uh, try this out see how it works even going at b can still work right but then later you will figure this out kind of because you're taking off angles 24 7 in every game you might figure this out uh, uh-huh. what is better quality off angle basically at any game you can just even self review and see mm, maybe i I could take that other position. I could be somewhere else, right? That is the main point. Let, just... me, mm-hmm. let me ask a question here then. So what I feel like, the reason that I didn't say A or to the left yeah, yeah. is because, <laughs> and it could be like just you know, it's a skill well. thing, but like, yeah, I go up there, I shoot, then they immediately turn and kill me. Like, right. I try and shoot at that soldier. My aim isn't very good. Mm-hmm. That's okay. And I die, like, immediately. That's well, not okay. immediately every time, but you, didn't, mm-hmm. you get the point. Yeah, they have two layers. First of all, how do you aim, right? And the second is uh-huh. how to not die. Yeah, let's talk about how to not die. When you're trying to apply pressure here, what is important when you're trying to stay alive? 
what you should cover. do cover yeah that is the most important that is something to start with right if the soldier is applying pressure to you you just do this right and you okay, have your yeah. hp pack with you <laughs> kind of your hp can regenerate in 1.5 seconds so it should be good supports are most powerful right now <laughs> in the game well not really but still the it's yeah. pretty good it's pretty good ability yeah. for you just passive ability to be able to regenerate a lot of hp that is something you want to use if you play around cover it shouldn't be the problem that is the first idea most important but obviously there are other things as well mm -hmm. so that is how to be safe in terms of how do you aim well it's I think another story, but we want to get to that point when you're starting sure. aim, seeing, yeah, seeing what, when you do that, yeah, what, what is the issue? Why it's difficult for you? Right now, I don't see any difficulty. The main difficulty is that there's a shield, right? Which is, you can get through. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, like this, it's fine just to keep shooting the Rhine, because, like, the ash is over there by herself. You tell me, like what you should be shooting right now? Is it the Ryan, if you know the Ash is in the right? No. So she she pops over there. <laughs> I feel like I should use this wall that's, that I'm behind already and yeah. just start trying to shoot at the Ash. Yeah, yeah, you, you definitely definitely should, I think. Yeah? Because you always want to think <clears throat> how to apply more pressure on the map, right? If you simply shoot in Ryan, first of all, all your pressure is stopped by the shield. That is the first yep. thing. Second, it's his armor. So you he has 30% damage reduction because of it. If you shoot the ash, there's no damage reduction, simply. Yeah? So you're trying okay. to shoot the ash instead. And it, it's even here, yeah. If you stuck shooting the Ryan, the main point of shooting the shield is just kind of get through this guy. So ideally you should already aim towards these people anyway. But yeah, I think the, this is not the main problem here, it's just where we at. Yeah, the position which allows you to kind of do more pressure. Well, your teammate was FK too, but... <laughs> and I don't know why I walked forward there either. Like, I don't think I had to. Yeah, well, it, it's kind of... It's kind of not gonna make too much of a difference, I think. Your team is okay. already dead. Well, you could have you could escape, maybe farm a little bit of more percent, but yeah, I'm not gonna focus on that too much. It's okay. Just, yeah, I think the main point is where are we at, yeah? Give you... Give you Give you better sight lines, make sure you see more, can apply more pressure. Okay, your team is walking left. Uh-huh. So it's kind of more complicated for you because you still want to have sight lines on your team. That's why you're kind of probably stuck going with them. So in this case, it's kind of one of these exceptions. It's okay because there's just no off angle to take. Uh, almost no off angle besides just playing behind your team now but you still can aim to do that yeah eventually w w what if my team is working here what do i do maybe go up the stairs here mm -hmm. maybe try uh -huh. to go here it's always something to aim for as much as possible sometimes map structure is just not allowing you to do that but yeah maybe even at this point of time mm, not too sure i don't think you can actually stay here but at least you can kind of utilize this as a opportunity for you to shoot some for members from the enemy backline maybe try to jump up for example and use it as your off angle off angle is just the position where you kind of really away from this main fire let's put it this way because most of these guys they're gonna look here because your core is coming this way yeah but if you even slightly more up somewhere you slightly more on the side away from your core it makes it difficult for these guys to aim because they have to move their crosshair they have to move it up and left for example it still requires more time than just moving it horizontally here yeah like left and right if they have if they're gonna move it up a little at least it's gonna be much harder that's why you, know, you will notice a lot of times you you will need to use verticality on the map because you're able to so why not <laughs> you can take yeah, advantage okay, of it. okay yeah so this is good what do you do here yeah this is good off angle and you potentially can turn towards your team and try to heal them up. I think this is nice. And is there any difficulty in terms of aiming? Well, I don't think I don't think I there is. Anybody. It just seems like we switching between targets, though. So what you should be shooting right away? First of all, Myra. Mm, maybe. Well, 
What the reason I think? said that, the, here's why I said that, um, and then you can tell me why it's not correct. Um, Maybe it's correct. Because, <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you went, uh. <laughs> so I was like, well, okay, wrong answer. But here's why I thought that. <laughs> so my thought was either Myra or Ash. Mm -hmm. um, reason being is because the Myra was turned away from me, and she's a support. So I would rather get the get the healer out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. That was my idea. That's my idea, at least. Yeah. No, you're right. Because you, most of the time, when you're trying to shoot somebody here, uh, you wanna you wanna also find the target, which is kind of easy to kill at the same time. And if we shoot the soldier, or we shoot the ash. The, these guys can be healed, so we're usually choosing to shoot the support. So it's just gonna be easier to kill those guys at the end of the day. And your team can pressure this more as well. Your team can also pressure this Anna too. So, well, kind of almost they just well at least Sebastian Diva. Yeah, but it's kind of similar. Uh, these guys are almost around the corner. It's not that critical. They're gonna be in yet yeah but at least just main priority is thinking oh this target can be healed well usually shooting the support is better kind of put okay. it this way <laughs> i'll try and remember that sometimes i catch myself just like like okay like the rhine the diva they're so large they're easy targets to hit like mm -hmm. i know they're tanks that's what they're supposed to do but i find myself just like shooting at them because mm -hmm. they're just like right there so like shooting the correct target which again i think target priority but in shooting that's mm -hmm. something i should work on you know what i would do is well is the as the first step maybe not even not even just shooting the right target but shooting one target you know what okay. i mean is yeah. you're trying to aim at that soldier so it's um yeah well maybe let's just go back to your POV. So you're trying to aim at that soldier, but then you switch to the ash, and then you shoot the ash one more time. There's one more attempt, uh -huh. and then you shoot. I think you shoot the Anna, and then you shoot the soldier, and then you shoot the soldier, and then you shoot the Anna after. Uh, so uh -huh. ideally, instead of doing that, your first step is just choose a target and stay on the target. If it didn't work, figure figure this out why it didn't work okay. when you were shooting and yeah because this is going to be much easier you make a decision and you, and you stick to it basically <laughs> it's okay. it's not like oh wait i made a decision now uh, it's it's wrong decision let me do another thing no try to kind of keep this decision going this is this is a lot of times the main point of experimenting as well you kind of have a theory you go in a game and maybe your theory is what if i go on the enemy spawn all the time and I'm going to try to shoot that backline from there. And you just apply that theory and see how it works. But for, for you, in order to see the results, like in a real experiment, you have to do it all the time. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five experiments. And then you see the pattern. Oh, okay. Let me see what didn't work, what I could have done better. It, but you have to stick to your decision when you're doing all of okay. that. You know? This is the same okay, thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first part that is choose one target. I'm going to write it down. And the second one, yeah, obviously prioritize supports, but I don't think it's the priority. Just choosing a stain on one target, decide what is that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's yeah. keep going. The off angle was fine. I think it was a good position, really. And you did apply a lot of pressure, actually. Sometimes you don't even have to do a lot of damage. You just kind of have to scare the enemy away from their position because they give it up space like they did now it's really good for your team and you just keep doing this all the time and it should be quite nice yeah see you're going on the side yeah and then you get the kill this is good yep this okay. is good mm -hmm. let's see what we gonna do next so this is when you have downtime or yes yes Exactly. What, what you should be doing at this point of time? <sighs> okay. I feel like I should be moving forward towards where they're going to be coming from. Mm -hmm. Like, to not fight directly on the point. But mm -hmm. my t in these ranks, they don't follow me. They, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. 
Okay. You just use them as a think about your team like a resource and you think what they do they help you to achieve things right they're not gonna help you that much when you're going in a spawn but you know that well you, you see them based on their position what they do uh, but you still find ways to get a little bit of value can you sneak a little bit of value if yes then fine if not then you can give up some space maybe but here is just when you're starting yeah if we use the same idea of off angle we we said in our previous session that you want to prioritize seeing an enemy. So what mm -hmm. off angle allows you to see an enemy right away? Um, to the, so like, where the diva is like mm -hmm. behind her kind of. Yeah, like... kind of. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it would be kind of this same position or maybe you can try to push up a little bit towards here, but this is, this is what you want. You want to, see if there's opportunity for you to be able to apply the pressure what if your diva gets the soldier to one hp well maybe probably she will not but he anyway you, you still have to be there for an opportunity yeah okay. you still yep. have to be yeah you still have to be there to be able to apply early pressure even before the fight so our off angle should be constantly you're thinking what if there's a really good opportunity to do a window soon yeah you just kind of not yeah. prepared yet yeah you yeah. behind your team right there put your window kill the soldier kill diana uh kill the moira mm. a lot of uh, a lot of times you notice it's kind of common players tend to think that the window is for the team but well true the, the enemy your team it can be useful they still can use that but rather thinking about it like how can you support your team through the pressure anyway? And a lot of times dance, especially in right now, those ranks is just how do you yeah, how do you apply pressure by yourself, I guess? Because you can really communicate a lot of times. People don't listen. It's really difficult as well to kind of combine all these resources. Like let's say when the fire strike, yeah, if you're looking for something like that, it's it's uh -huh. uh, difficult. Yeah, so you try yeah, to be that's more... another thing i've mm -hmm. noticed too um mm -hmm. uh, something that i probably need help on is knowing like we did talk about okay heal when they're like critical or whatever but i'm like not every game but maybe like 15 percent, 10 to 15 percent maybe 20 i get flamed for not healing enough <laughs> like baptiste what coming. the fuck are you doing like to heal. This this is really I, funny. <laughs> Even in the ranked uh, GMs, uh, people, I think there was what what is one of the famous one? Well, probably you maybe you hear about awkward. He's doing a lot of so that's stuff. That, yeah. that's who I follow. That's how I know to use window for myself. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I have seen that. That made me feel a little bit better that it happens to like the best people too. <laughs> well, it might be, but uh, your your idea is still. Uh, thinking how do you prioritize supporting your team through the pressure because just while in yeah like if somebody tells you oh you're not doing enough healing in reality uh, they say oh like healing is more important a lot of times yeah like why I don't heal but uh, to be honest it's more that damage is the priority the damage numbers is always something you should be paying attention to more because the healing output in the game is lower comp oh, sorry yeah yeah right the healing output yep. is lower compared to damage output so you want to find ways to apply pressure first and then figure out how to heal your team at the same time later it's kind of about okay. that yeah okay yeah it happens like a... this <laughs> so and i i'm over it now like after the first like five times i was like okay i'm over yeah. it yeah the 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 thing is uh, how it affects you mentally right is there is anything like you think you're getting frustrated or so if yes then what do you do about that uh well i just default to muting them <laughs> that's why that's it, what i do immediately mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when they start flaming me but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is that helping you to stay focused on the game and do your own thing or do you notice you tend to kind of listen to them sometimes maybe or like yes so there mm -hmm. yes there are times where like like i was playing a ranked earlier where they were like i only had uh like four limit uh, four eliminations 
and like I like four or five deaths or something like that. And it was after the first round, and they all complained at me that I wasn't healing mm-hmm. enough. And I was like, all right, well, maybe mm-hmm. I'll try healing some more. Mm-hmm. I guess mm-hmm. I still lost, but like, yeah, the, I I think there are times where it does affect my play. Mm-hmm. So I try and and just um mute them so i just stay mm-hmm. focused on the game but maybe there's another strategy that works too mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah if you want we can go with that i'm just want to make sure is it really affecting you if it, if it is the few tools we can we can go over maybe might be useful actually mm, i'm thinking well yeah, i what am do you pretty think? confident mm-hmm. so i'm confident in myself like right just in terms of like i really like i only have like i have less than 20 hours of competitive play um i haven't been playing that long i've been just like watching videos for a long time so i'm of the mindset right now if i just keep playing and like i'm actively trying to improve and do the things and like even awkward says like <laughs> you will be bad at first you'll be worse at first doing these things um it's... or you could be but then you will get better like prioritizing doing damage blah 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 um so that that's honestly my mindset i just mute them so i don't have to see it so i because like i'll read it and i know i'll just like sometimes i respond and it's there's no point Mm -hmm. just play the game yeah that's okay yeah i think this is good mentality i'm just thinking if it ever affects you you think you want to go over that we can definitely dive in to that a little bit more that is something we do with the players but in your case to me well, at least from what i hear from now it doesn't seem like a the biggest issue at the moment so it should be okay yeah really you yep. keep focusing your goal you really just thinking about improving putting it first yeah you're not kind of saying oh this guy's like your teammate there they your teammates they're the issue they're only kind of <laughs> so in your games and you can climb right so it's all good yeah you paying attention to your gameplay and it's nice mm-hmm. yeah but i'm just gonna write it down just in case maybe in the case we want to work on that later just uh dealing with this difficult teammates kind of you know, let's just put it this way mm-hmm but yeah, might might be might be the topic we can go over in the future. Okay, we 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 keep going over the replay, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of nuance around just how do you apply pressure, right? So kind of go back to our previous thing, which you mentioned of uh, what is your off angle? What is that position which allows you to see things better on the field? Yeah, like I mentioned here, it's quite nice. You have a lot of good opportunity for you to go over, go, go over the enemy back line, try to shoot them. Yeah, so uh-huh. we could be at that position. You see what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I will say last time you mentioned to me, cause I think, like I said, I, I don't know the maps like that. Well, that's okay. I'm starting to know them better, but it was helpful how you kind of like showed me, you like zoomed out and like, look, it's like symmetrical usually. And like, exactly. generally <laughs> that has really helped me actually. Cause I've been like, okay, they're probably coming from here. Even if I don't know a hundred percent and, uh, it's been right like most of the time like and it, it more just makes sense yeah, and i'm kind exactly. of like how did i think of that from yeah the beginning <laughs> yeah there are some fundamental ideas behind the map always you notice the pattern and i can definitely tell you so something like maps are symmetrical this is one pattern the well at least king of the hill and uh, what was that flashpoint and here you also can notice one more pattern it also applies to flashpoint actually too it's you always have some sort of high ground near the objective and that is something you want to fight for first and that's why okay. we were okay. here at the start as well yeah because it just gives you better field of view it gives you more opportunities as well yeah there are a lot of advantages why high ground is good it might be not as clear yeah it's not like high ground like on gibraltar but still it does something yeah? it gives you a little bit extra view on on the map and that is usually something you're fighting for right away. Maybe remember Nepal village, for example, you start going up left and well, yeah. depending on where you are, obviously, but there's like 
a bridge you want to fight for. On Legion Control Center, you want to fight for this what's called White Room, the room yeah, near the... Yeah, I know that room. Yeah, exactly. And this, this can be one of the patterns for you as well. Something to just notice. Okay. So your diva, diva did a good bomb there. That is something you can take advantage of. Mm hmm. Ryan is low, so this is okay. You can just kill him. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's not always so shoot the squishies, right? If the tank, sometimes tank tend to be isolated as well, you can take advantage of it. Mm. The main idea behind target priority is just watching two things who is the most active and who is the most killable at the same time but we are gonna go over that a little bit later i think for now i'm just thinking again okay. what, what your position should be right away um so i i was gonna go up there i think and then i was right. like oh i think they're looking right <laughs> there because the bastion walked away that's what i thought but okay okay that that doesn't necessarily yeah mean that's correct no, no, but this this is good. This is good concern, actually. I think some of these people are gonna look towards this angle, probably. Let's go back. Let's see. I think the soldier did. He is doing the helix right there. So that's good concern. I'm just thinking, is it really enough to get you killed? Well, probably not. But then, okay. what are the other things you can be aware of when you're actively applying pressure from the off angle? What is important for you to watch out for? If I get so a couple no, um, things, mm -hmm. oh, go ahead. Sorry, I, didn't, I thought it was a question. No, uh, yeah, yeah, there was a question. I'm just, I'm just kind of to give you to give you this mm, this pointer when you're trying to uh -huh. apply pressure, uh -huh. uh, because you don't want an enemy attention entirely on you, right? You mentioned, oh, the yep. bastion is there. This guy's they were distracted with the bastion because they only see the bastion so they shoot him but now in most of the fights how to make sure the attention is not on you what do you have to keep an eye on um where my team is mm, and kind of general enemy. yeah okay um but this is right direction yeah you want to be aware where your team is sure who on your team is really good at distracting the tank uh tank okay anyone else you think the damage mm. i feel like i'm just gonna guess all three um <laughs> do you mean on this specific team or just in general yeah 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 i'm just looking at your team currently so it's uh the diva oh, okay yeah yeah it's your diva and then what do you think anyone anyone else who is really bash. hard to kill uh so diva and then i think bastion has like some damage mitigation with the cooldown mm. Um, that's okay. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just seeing like, I just want to see the thought process here. Like it's, um, a lot of times you might notice when you, in your games, who is really good at distracting, it's the character with a lot of self-sustained, with a lot of defensive abilities and also mobility. So who on your, who on your team is quite mobile? Soldier. Uh, soldier can be the one. Diva. Mm -hmm. Diva. Who else? Lucio. Lucio. Yeah, exactly. The, those, those three. There's something you can pay attention to. Uh, what I would start with is not paying t attention to all three though, but just pay attention to Diva because this is the main variable. This has <laughs> all this kind of mobility opportunities. Yeah, she can dive in, dive out, and she also has. A lot of defensive abilities as well that, that is why pay attention to your tank most of the time if you're not sure when to do s something actively when you are really trying to shoot the enemy pay attention to your diva and um, this is the part of awareness as well you have mentioned position is important so it gives sidelines on your team but now another layer is making sure you look around before you apply pressure so when you hear <clears throat> You actively scout and see what my diva is doing. Okay, my diva is not active. You see that diva is not active, then can you apply pressure still if your diva is not active? What do you think? 
Can you still shoot yes. a little? Yeah, yes. totally, right? But then you know because your diva is not active, you don't have to commit really hard. Yeah, you don't have to maybe use your lamp, use your shift, and all of that because tank is kind of your main indicator when the fight starts, when the things are actively happening on the field and kind of put it this way if you use all your cooldowns now these guys can just kite and play spawn and uh, they can just break your lamp without yeah. being punished right but when they actively yeah. pushing usually your tank will be involved so you notice this pattern of oh if you're using your cooldowns together with your tank you're being the most active then you can actually get kills and your team can actually get uh... the job done too mm -hmm. okay that's a really good point because I can't tell you how many times I've gone gone in, died, and I was like, wait, I thought my team was here. <laughs> right, right, right. So we got to do this. Yeah? A little bit extra, extra thing for us. Uh, before applying pressure, look at your tank. Look, look where he is. Confirm. See if he can, if he can be active as you. And then, okay. yeah, then decide. You... Still can do poke damage, a little bit of damage, but then you know, it, you all, all your actions should be based on something. Yeah? It's easier for you to make the decision to stay or go out because you know certain information. It's not just we shoot blindly all the time. Yeah, that's why a lot right. of people they kind of miss this nuance, like especially with awkward videos. He, he says just do damage or something, and the people say, oh, you know, I'm doing damage, and people tell me I'm throwing, I'm missing something, and then <laughs> the, the, yeah. The, 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 there are a lot of things to be aware of, a lot of nuances uh, such as, for example, timing uh, here. But yeah, how do you get better at timing as well? Uh, okay. That's, that's... So essentially, like, don't worry that my Bastion backed off there. Like, yeah, exactly. I can still pressure from that off angle. Like, they're most like they're really not going to kill me. Like... Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. You keep the pressure and be really active, like... Probably now, when your diva is actively receiving pressure, you can probably shoot the enemy a little bit more if you have that option, of course. You probably, if you stay a little bit towards this position here, you kind of use this as a cover. You have silence on your team, you can shoot the back line as well. I think it should be quite good. Yeah, obviously. Okay. Most of the time, yeah, you're healing critical teammates, it's also fun. Um, there are a couple of things about just what do you do with the lamp as well, but I don't think it's just. It's our priority now. Mm, yeah. We can look at it maybe after the game, after we go over this, and then we do a game, and then we <laughs> we watch. Uh, yeah, probably go over the abilities a little bit more. Okay. Sure. I really, I really like the times when you take an off angles, you actually shooting. Just mechanically, it looks okay. There's no really like big trouble with aiming i i don't see it <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> well it's when when i play you'll you might see it yeah it's like when i duel people yeah I, like sometimes i, I use shift and lamp and i still don't get the kill i th i think that makes sense we can look at it sure okay now at this point of time where you should be remember off angle what is the off angle um what is that position you want to fight for let's look at it this map so here. So first is it's high ground, um, and one? there's so the off angle is the high ground that's like to the left of like where Lucio is right now. Like okay, there. this one. Yeah. Okay, why it's yeah. an off angle? Because they're looking. My team's walking like in the front, right? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. down that lane. Kind of main lane, exactly. Yep, and. If I try and get to the other high ground that's kind of like in the middle, I'm basically just going to be walking like in front of all of them where they're looking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Versus the other high ground on top, um, I have mm -hmm. an off angle. I'm on that high ground. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I can yep. apply pressure from there. Yeah, really good position for you. You really have high uptime with this position as well. You can constantly keep shooting or healing. Where here, if you want to get on that position, like you mentioned, it requires you to walk through this main lane, which is not good. Or it requires you to do this rotation, which is, again, you're going to have downtime in this case. So it's not the best, at least for your character. Yeah, but it's still nice to know that there are options. It's not always one high gun you're going to fight for. It yeah. just depends on what your team do, depends on the 
hero even depends on yeah a lot of factors but yeah this is the most common position where you should be and that's why you don't even want to invest time in staying here even a little bit but right away aim towards the off angle so you okay. have that option to do something okay got it so this is one and let me see mm -hmm. mm, okay are you familiar with this mechanics it's called heal shooting heal shooting with baptiste or or not i have heard of it yeah so like the sh shoot shoot heal yeah sort of <laughs> kind of okay yeah yeah so how why do you do that and how do you do that maybe like have you tried to implement it maybe i have tried i always forget in the fight <laughs> <laughs> yeah i have tried it though I, I i think i know the time like i felt it like oh, okay because you can you can fit in the heel grenade in between those shots. Yes, 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 yes exactly, exactly, exactly. Mm, you kind of... Yeah, to kind of put it this way, when you don't need to heal anybody, when... Yeah, when there's just the start of the fight, usually it's fine to do normal shooting just shooting all the time is okay but when you know your teammates are really active like, um, remember this previous session as well something we talked about yeah who is the most active right now yeah are they being critical as well that is something you want to be aware of really mm -hmm. who is gonna take more damage that is something you want to heal but don't forget about a shooting meanwhile too you can sneak a little bit of damage this way yeah it's kind of maybe let me just go on a custom game real quick because you have the time while um oh, maybe let's do this because you have the time like i mentioned when, once the shot is traveling yeah your projectile healing is traveling you, you can sneak a little bit of damage it's completely fine i think kind of now what you can start with just thinking about it a little bit more once you go in okay. a game you, this can be one of the habits you can try to implement just try to do this okay. let me see so like if i'm if i'm shooting here like for example i heal this and then i shoot this guy. So it, it requires to be good at flicking sort of like do this yeah, so heal, shoot, heal, shoot, heal, shoot, yeah? But the more mm. you do it, the faster you're going to be. But okay. it's still, yeah, it's a good thing to think about. Like, this okay. robot is active, okay, but I want to heal and pressure at the same time, yeah? Like, kind of do a little bit of this. Um, I think for now, just pay attention to only critical members. I think this is good, but this is nice to know, like, you can still sneak a uh, little bit of pressure. And the other... Okay, okay. Combos like heal, shoot, shoot, all of that depends really. For now, just think, Got okay, it. I can heal, shoot at the same time when somebody is active, and later we'll see what we can add as well. Mm, yeah, let's start with that, and let's go okay, back to sense. the game and see what are the positional things we can we can implement there as well. So, we, we mentioned the high ground, it's top left there yeah that is something you can take mm -hmm. even here yeah you can still find an option to take an off angle let's see you're going all the way left the soldier is there yeah this is exactly the point of time when heal shooting is really good see your soldier is active uh -huh. he is gonna be critical you can heal and try to shoot at the same time so it's either way, way around ideally yeah you shoot and oh sorry heal and then shoot after or like now heal and then try to turn your cross in this direction obviously it's okay. this is gonna take time uh, but sure the more you do it this is gonna be maybe uh, using voxel for this especially might be quite useful uh, mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah yeah okay yeah because i think I can only get to like level four <laughs> on box the... Right, okay. You you're taking this angle, you know, getting getting the kills. This is good. Don't wanna walk out in the open though, but it's okay. fine. Um I'm thinking kind of once you got the skill right there, where you should yeah. move towards right away. What is your the... off angle? 
the others. Actually, I could probably just go back up to high ground. And yeah, I think so. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And your jump ability, that what helps yeah. you to get an off angle. I think try to do it this way all the time. Whenever you get something done, especially maybe you get a kill, maybe the enemies, they pushed you out. It does matter. Still try to retake your position. Try to set up and then pressure. Set up, pressure. Set up where on off angle simply okay. so it doesn't matter what is happening uh, obviously later we'll talk about some exceptions but usually when you don't have to stay there but for now it's just going to be a good habit to start with most of the time it's going to work yeah like in this fight we see okay if you hear you can see more you can apply more pressure this can be something like if you know this guy exists though if you know you can do something like get a kill most of the time, that is the exception when you give up the off angle. But yeah, the that exception, so you can go with those later. And yeah, you see, we cut right. out in the open, we're not set up, and then it forces yep. you to use your shift, and it might what it might cause a panic, panic, be panicking as well sometimes. Yeah, because you're under a lot of pressure, you notice how your aim is not as good as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Exactly, exactly. It's pretty common because you're out in the open. I would be. I would be really uncomfortable as well, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> it would be okay. really difficult to aim for me. I would just prioritize dodging with my movement. I would I would not even shoot, I think. <laughs> just try to move yeah. somewhere to the best okay. position you can. <laughs> All right, here we again start on the left, left off angle because it gives you more options. You see things a little bit better, prioritizing seeing enemy at the start and then see your team, right? Yeah, so mm -hmm. like, if if I were standing up there when they all walk, just drop down. Mm, you, first of all, I'll just pretend, yeah, we know. Yeah, we're staying here. Okay, so I was saying, you start here, and then they start walking, yeah? They start walking, they start pressuring you. Yep. Um, I mentioned that you have to keep whatever position you got whatever off angle you got as much as possible because it allows you um, to force any resources more obviously you can kind of move between one side and another yeah maybe get a little bit better line of sight like for example here if i'm staying at this position then i only see sigma shield but if i'm here somehow maybe i can get the pressure of these guys as well so it depends but see all your positioning should be around this kind of off angle where 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 you want to be so even those guys are pushing you what are what is the way for you what you should be doing in order to be able to keep this position while being safe as well is that well dropping that might be the case but is there anything else you can do if this guy uh... is pressing you like that or well okay so sometimes i window um mm -hmm. but i could also rotate to the other side of the high yeah, ground like yeah. you're saying yeah you can rotate. back up instead yeah exactly yeah but the, ma the main part is how, how do you fight for your position i think like can you fight for it really because there are a lot of things you can do from here as well uh, it's really valuable for you to think about your cooldowns and even ultimate like a tool which allows you to maintain your good position think if somebody is pushing you because you're really active yeah like this guy thinking this baptiste is an off angle yeah let me push him okay this is fine because you have the lamp you have the tools to kind of answer this aggression of course you want to avoid the shield ideally so try to maybe move left move right get around the shield and such maybe jump up sometimes but still fight for the position but yeah don't give it up too quickly mm, okay this can be a good habit so you especially not avoiding situations where you're under pressure again you're trying to stick to your decision keep the high gun see how it works and then if this guy's really killed you see why um it's gonna be probably oh might be that you're not using cover, might be the timing. Yeah, the timing we mentioned your diva should be active. That is when you should be the most active as well. Like now, your diva is there, but where you are. Yeah, because yeah, had standing. I been up there already, she would be moving <laughs> into them right now. And, and window right there, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> For yeah. example, right? Good window. Right. 
but before that you just kind of you maintain your position you're not giving up you're just shooting 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 and then being active really when your tank is in and that is a good indicator okay what is a quick question what's the difference between shooting and like and being active like oh you said like this now like you can shoot and when your tank is in then you're active yeah uh okay what i'll put into the word active is that when you active you also using uh, find a way to use your abilities a lot of times it's not necessarily that you saw off all your abilities because most of your abilities are defensive but it's just mostly kind of you want to be ready to respond with your abilities if something happens and uh, it's okay you're gonna know it's all right because <clears throat> if you use your abilities before the active fight happens like when the diva is not in there when you know these guys are just poking maybe read a fire yeah you still shoot each other but you shouldn't exchange cooldowns actively because if you use your lamp once these guys are in a spawn well they take advantage of it later when the real fight happens <laughs> you know yeah that's yeah, what i mean okay. yeah active is just kind of the moment when ultimate is going to play cooldown is going to play uh, but you still can shoot yeah you but you okay. also can shoot before that too so yeah it's just the main the difference mm, that makes I'm, th sense. I'm thinking so we have some time maybe let's do a game actually and then we have we're gonna have time to kind of summarize and so maybe if you have any final questions we can go over those too is that sounds good yeah for sure yeah let's do a game and just pay attention to let's do the timing yeah let's just pay attention to the timing entirely make sure when you go in you check for your tanks simply all so right that can increase the awareness <laughs> yeah okay you can screen share all right, let me share my screen Can you see it okay? Yeah, I see it okay. Oh, let me turn off push to talk on my Discord. Real quick. Okay. I see that you also... Discord did choose the highest quality. Just make sure it's not affecting your gameplay. Maybe put 1080 on the stream just in case. So oh, your okay, frame rate okay. is not going to drop. Yeah, I think 1080 is the best usually. Okay, let me do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. This is this is gonna be better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, just simply pay attention to timing. Make sure when you're going in, you know what your tank is doing. You know that your tank is being active and uh -huh. should be okay. Uh, one sec. The game sounds are a little loud. Mm -hmm. It's hard to hear you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can. You can to to turn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good not for... that there's really any, there's not really any difference, but uh, I, I was like, oh, I got to silver three and then lost a bunch and back down to that's, silver four. That, that, that's common, to be honest. That's always when you are progressing, especially like when you, or when you learn new concepts, uh, there's just tendency, you drop a little and then you climb more. So in your case, you're got mostly going to, yeah, you, once you spend more time into practice, you're going to climb to silver one, silver two, and then you might drop a little, but then you climb more, gold four, five, yeah, and then just constantly okay. the same thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all progress, it's okay, just focus on, if you're getting better at the concept, our idea is making sure you implement all those concepts in 80% of your fights. So this way we know you got them right. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Makes sense. Yeah. Should be good. Should be good this way. And do you want to try, try hard of a Maybe search for that in a custom game. Yeah. 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 Maybe we have time. Mm-hmm. Sure. Just click all games and uh, type in FFA. Right. There's one. <laughs> I'll do you can you can see if the latency is okay. If it's around one hundred, it should be alright, I think, but don't let it Oh, you don't have little Let me see. You can actually enable latency uh, the ping in your settings if you want. Mm. 
It just should be. An... I don't know what you're should... talking about, actually. You, you 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 don't know, or you know? I do not know. No. Oh, you do not. Um, yeah, I have to find it by myself. It should be in the settings. I think it should be in advanced settings. I'm just gonna search and see because the. Okay. Oh, I just found it. Okay, so it's on video. You go in a video and click details, and then click show network latency. Sixty-two. Mm-hmm. Sixty-two is okay. Okay, so it's under a hundred. So it should be fine, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Good map for us, King of the Hill. The high ground to fight for it can be that right platform, but see, this is kind of um, this is gonna be quite difficult position for you because you don't have um good sidelines consistently on your team the enemy so i would fight for the left side actually this is kind of one of this well not really exceptions but just mm. okay yeah this, this is just different there's there's just no clear high ground to hold i guess mm, at least on this part this king of the hill map okay. yeah so you just lean towards the left this can be off angle and make sure you time the pressure rate you look at your tank every time before you <clears throat> actively doing something yeah okay mm -hmm. yeah this is a good position to start with and make sure you move up a little yeah if these guys are going on you you can always go up like you did it's okay yeah i, I think it's fine don't worry i i think just for now try to get a kill or two and go back a little mm -hmm. this guy's gonna Try to chase you they have a fire as well that is something you can shut down as well they don't have a mercy so might be quite easy target for you okay just, just saying yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> it needs a kill almost nice nice good dodge right huh see if your team is really like they they're gonna walk forward so yeah, yeah, yeah. you can jump over the wall as well Okay. All right, all right, all right. It's all right. One more. Oh. Mm hmm. Their life fever just died. Well, it's winnable actually. If you get a get a pick or two, try to try to find the squishy. Yeah, the, like their fire is one of these is for you. Just if okay. you see the fire, I think might be quite easy for you to kill. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm see what is that position you're gonna take so it's off angle yeah maybe lean towards the right in your case because of here right careful genji usually like to deflect when you <laughs> when you're using okay. your window just they stay right in front a lot of times just try to okay. kind of bait, bait his deflect first uh, it's okay got it i think it was was okay. <clears throat> mm hmm Move flat, sure. You can stay on this left platform on uh, that building as well. You see there is like a blue platform on the left building. You, oh, you, you're not maybe going to have time Sorry. to get there. But yeah, it's okay. Sorry, it's a bit, it's, it's a bit hard to like focus on. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it, I get it, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, you just because I saw you, you try to take off angle there. Um, something to suggest in general, but yeah, uh, I think in general when we try to take off angles, this is good. The timing is also fine. It's just a little bit about the quality of the position there, like at least from what we mentioned today. But yeah, it's okay. it's fine. Yeah. Like we we, we, right. we we do we're doing okay. Like our main point was the timing, so just keep 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 watching that. I think make make sure your tank is really active when when you're being active as well. Like your Risa, usually you see her maybe using the spin. Maybe she is using the spear. Maybe she is fortifying as well. That those are all good indicators signals. To you okay, that, that, yeah. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I should be able to get if she's still on Farah. Mm -hmm. If there's still a Farah, I should be able to get. Yeah, keep your positioning going. Like 
keep maybe t try to take the yeah try to take the high ground and just keep right. an eye on the wrist so yeah when she's active you're active yeah like she's active now mm -hmm. so you can shoot right mm -hmm. that's a good position for you mm-hmm Mm-hmm, good job. Nice, good job. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your risk is in, you can be in as well. You can be really confident when you, or your uh, tank isn't always. Mm hmm. See what your tank is. Yeah. Mm hmm. What he's doing. <laughs> okay. Try to find that good angle as well, so you're able to sneak a little bit more pressure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the fight is over. Think about the most valuable position for you to be at where you can start applying pressure. Okay. They in. Yeah, yeah, they in it again, yeah. You just because they use the three the fight is over because they can win it, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's like me saying that. Because <laughs> most of them are dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now think about the position you're gonna take. So it's gonna be Early damage pressure, yeah. Some off angle, exactly. This is good. Mm hmm. Did you watch the timing? No, I didn't. I did not. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So see, this the, that 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 was the main thing. Yeah. Go for the window, but. Compare, um, confirm that your wrist is really active. She's doing something, yeah. And it was kind okay. of maybe not the case, yeah. Yeah, yeah she, I forgot. Mm -hmm, that's okay. We just keep implementing that habit until it, it's gonna be uh, sticking, okay. yeah. Look at the tank. Mm hmm. That's a good place to start with. Confirm what your tank is doing so you're not gonna get your abilities forced. Mm hmm. I still can play at your positions, just watch out, yeah, the timing. That was a misclick. That's okay. I deploy the field. Don't worry. This is a good position. Nice. Mm-hmm. And always confirm. Downtime, when you go from one position to another, confirm. What's your tank? What What is he doing? <laughs> he's, he's surviving. <laughs> <laughs> right. And this is this is good. Okay. Power is right above, or oh, okay. Try to reset. These people will. Yeah, the, all of your team is dead, so be careful. You still can apply all the pressure, but um. Make sure you're not gonna get killed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easy kill for you, nice. Might be game changer. <laughs> yeah, your team is gonna win, nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice, good job.
had I walked like a second earlier though, that fair probably would have killed me. Because <laughs> I like heard the footsteps and stood there for a second, and she just kind of mm-hmm. appeared in mm-hmm. front of me. No, I think this the, the that would be overall that would be okay still probably, but you know. Okay. It's just and like I'm trying to listen to you as well. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's hard to get it, yeah. <laughs> Especially because I'm not used to like all the things in the game. Yeah, 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 totally get it. Yeah, so just that's that's why we trying to just lean towards one team. Obviously, there maybe some other things that tell about the position mostly, but you focus on your timing, especially when you have your window. Yeah, confirm your Orisa is active, and then your window at the right time. Uh huh. It's really important habit for us to implement. Okay. Mm-hmm. So right before your pressure, confirm what your tanky is doing. Is he active? And then apply pressure. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That's okay. Try to reset a little, maybe get a kill. One of them died. Yeah, yeah might be winnable if you get a pick. Nice. Oh, this guy's really after you. <laughs> ah. That's okay, that's okay. He's trying to chase you, right? You have huh? your abilities, it's okay. If you respond, you I think you did respond in the good way. Of course, there are still a few things to do better, but, you know, it's still good. Okay. That's why off angles are really good. See, this Doomf is going on you. It means he's not going on most of your team. He's not going on those other four people. That's how you kind of split the attention. You split the resources because <clears throat> you're an off angle. Ah, misclick. That's okay. Take the position and make sure your Risa is active. Right, good. Huh? I don't think I would have gotten that kill if you weren't in my ear. <laughs> so the consistency, right? So you taking good positions and everything, you're going to get those skills. It's fine. Okay. What you think, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, we wanted oh, to place it. I didn't it mean right... to put it there. I thought <laughs> I put it right in front of me. Well, I, I yeah, I guess he just moved a little. That's why I, st I hit W. I guess because I was like, oh, yeah, it appeared. Good... <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Find a way to apply the pressure. See where your tank is. See he, how he's active in front of this doorway. So you have to move up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's kind of, well, he's about to be active, right? He's just about to receive pressure and such. Mm -hmm. I see what you mean. All right. Now he's moving back a little. You can move back accordingly because you're watching your tank, right? But then still maintain off angle. You don't give it up, right? You shoot. Now your tank is moving up. He's moving up. You're moving up as well. Mm hmm. Just because we've been aware what is happening in the field with our tank, it's much easier. Don't go back to your team. Stay in your position. Respond with the cooldowns. It's okay. Okay. All right, this is good. Okay. If this guy's going, you respond with your cooldowns if needed. Cover okay. first. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Maintain the position. Mm hmm. Um, watch out, your wrist might need help. Uh, probably lamp, yeah. Mm hmm. Was fine attempt. Nice. Okay, early pressure. Your tank moves up. <clears throat> okay. 
By the way, you can stay on that top high gun behind you just in case. If you want to get better view, right? <clears throat> Mm-hmm. That is good. That is good. What we what we had okay. there, what could save your life? Uh, I had lamp at the yeah. last second. Yeah, exactly. But that was good enough though. I liked it. We almost got the ultimate as well. Yeah, but this is the main point. See especially at the end of this, I think yeah. the previous round and this last round. That was much better, I think. You maintained an a good view on your tank and you constantly look what he's doing and you spawned yeah you, this is gonna be much easier you're not gonna get you killed all the time this way <laughs> just practice and that more and more and <laughs> so even though like at the end right mm -hmm. had and i know that you're right so that's why i'm asking the question <laughs> yeah. had you not been telling me right there i probably would have backed up onto that left high ground like the one that's actually like behind the point mm. Mm. and use my window because I would have been scared of what happened, like the doom coming over and getting right. Because I'm, right. I'm standing yeah. out there. Yeah, but this is the main point, right? Because see how you're applying pressure, right? You trying to drag the resources to you so your team is safe. But because you're dragging resources, now you have to figure out how to be safe. Uh, you have to figure out how to survive. What was the what was the main issue there well uh, first of all what was important i mentioned you had your lamp and you died so that was a mistake right you died with the cooldowns that means we not responding well you you have something to respond with yeah and try to survive right and uh, this way you trade you trade the cooldowns you trade all this pressure mm, and get a kill as well and you help your team get a kill too mm. but if you're playing the back then there's no real destruction yeah there's no real yeah. like the enemies they're not gonna think oh you dangerous one yeah you, we need to dive you know they are gonna dive your other teammates and then gonna die you can't really control them most of the time <laughs> because yeah, yeah you can't control what your genji do is he gonna do the deflect is he gonna try to dash in or so no you want to find ways to be the most active and survive at the same time yeah about the survivability is just how you use cover. Yeah, a few things could be Doomf is going on you. You had the high ground, remember? Yeah, but we kind of dropped from it. Yeah, m m remember what I mentioned. Take the position, try to maintain it for longer. Yeah, stick to your decision. Obviously, you have to um, maybe move up, give up space. Yeah, but see, can you leverage the position longer? That is what you try can try to lean to in your next games here yeah? is there's a real pressure on you yet yeah and respond to it rather than kind of uh, i guess anticipating that you're gonna die because that what got you killed in the first place i think you was in okay. a good position but the doomfist was diving in and he was missing <laughs> but you dropped right on him as well right <laughs> remember yeah mm -hmm. yeah so okay this is also part about that yeah the maintain maintaining is, your position mm -hmm. is the idea that i will eventually get like a sense of when to not maintain the position because i feel like i'm gonna die a good bit more at first doing it this way not which i know i gotta do it this way i'm just mm. saying like is that the idea the gent like yeah 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 like okay the main idea is just uh, we want to figure out how to um, apply more pressure, the most pressure you can first. And then the th second thing is how to be safe, basically. This is the main idea. Because this is always the hard part. Think how you can be uh, playmaking. This is the hard part. The easy part okay. is fix all the cover and when you should move back, when you should move up. Uh, but even on top of 100 play, you do not give up your position easily. Yeah, like, because a lot of people, they it's common mistake think you're giving up your position and move towards your team. No, you still have to maintain your angles. It's just something you move from one... Mm, you move between those angles, kind of move from one off angle to another, basically. Yeah, you still want to make sure you apply as much pressure as possible, right? And moving towards your team is really the last thing yeah it's not even happening Got most it. of the time yeah it's just okay mm -hmm. that's just... counterintuitive <laughs> yeah i get it i get it it's for now <laughs> but we, we we're gonna be implementing that habit constantly focusing on 
you maintaining those good positions. Yeah, I think let's just Perfect. try to okay. summarize. Yeah, what do we got out of the day so far? What are the main things you got to work on? So one is, again, like looking. Actually, I don't know if this was one of those for the last time, but yeah, yeah. So the positioning for sure, that's still mm -hmm. definitely one of them. And in particular, this time we went over high grounds. Mm -hmm. um, two, when I have a position, that is a solid that you know i know it's good or like even if i'm if i'm just there right like try and maintain it don't give it up so easily mm -hmm. respond with my cooldowns to trade like some of the value if i get dived or something like that um then when it comes time to pressure check the tank for now um if the tank mm -hmm. is active and active meaning they're going in or they're using cooldowns you mentioned like orisa's cooldowns um that's how i know when it's okay to really use mine and when, when I can pressure. Mm -hmm. Another thing was um, when I do get a good angle, mm -hmm. picking one target. If there are like three squishies, just picking one of them. Um, and then if I if I do not immediately like trying to get, well, I don't know if we actually said this, but yep. um, not not tr just shooting at the other ones after i get a kill like i can just like kind of back off a little bit and still maintain my good position but mm -hmm. now i've got a pick yeah 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 well, obviously it depends sure. kind of yeah maybe move up move back but yeah it's just the idea of was maintaining playing around your advantageous positions here yeah? playing around your off angles more and i think the timing yeah two big things for us mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. for timing to get better, we have to scout. Yeah, we have to look around where your tank is right before you apply pressure. You usually notice you do all the scouting and downtime. So it's just when you kind of around the corner, maybe even when you're reloading, that is something to consider. Yeah, all of those things together, they help you. Yeah, like if you know you have downtime, just use it to get information always. It shouldn't be, oh, okay. I'm reloading. You look at your whatever, like left corner, <laughs> the bottom yeah. left corner or right corner. That's matter. Yeah. You have to get additional information. For us, it's going to be looking at the tank more. I think, yeah, this is going to be good to start with later. Um, I think what we can do is to focus more on maintaining angles. I think so maintain angles just kind of we go through positioning a little huh. bit more. So we keep doing this kind of going over the same concept, but it's just we're gonna go over how to go from one position to another. So, mm, yeah, yes. maybe, yeah, just kind of how we do rotations. Let's put this way rotations. And maybe let's look at your ability, ability usage. Ability okay. usage. Let's look at that more. Mm, awareness. Well, we still can maintain it. Yeah, we'll get a few things um probably the next time as well and the other concept can be i just put it down at the start of our lesson is um, if if there's difficulty dealing with difficult teammates if uh, they read effects in you we might go with that as well but i don't see it's a big issue yet so it should be okay but if it is then let me know <laughs> Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, one more thing you mentioned was the shooting heal timing. Yeah, 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 that too. Uh, I think you can do that, think about that for sure. Yeah, like, try to um, basically um, only shoot, let's just say that, only shoot when um, when you have time before the fight. When kind of when you because we talked about the tank a lot, yeah. When your tank yeah. is not active, for example, you can use it as a main trigger, and this is the time when you can only shoot when your tank is active. Then you have to think about what are the moments when you can do healing. Yeah, it's mostly we've been focusing on critical. So when somebody's critical, you try to heal and shoot at the same time. Heal, shoot, heal, shoot. Do a little bit more of that. So you start implementing okay. that mechanic. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. So on the shooter when tank is not active and and shoot and shoot when yeah he'll shoot yeah, he'll shoot when tank is being active and such right okay yeah i think it should be good now do you have any final okay. questions uh 